continue on with part two of what's new in Smart Notebook 11, there's now a new fade feature that you can use with the normal pen. So before, if you wanted something to fade, you could come up here and use the magic pen. And I could write my name. And after some given time, it would fade away. Now with, with Smart Notebook 11, we can now use the pen tool. I can select a color. And then I come over here to my properties tab over here to my left. And with my fill effect on my pen, I can now set my transparency like before, but I can also enable ink fading after you write. So I click on this. I can choose how many seconds, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So I'm gonna go two seconds. I'm gonna write my name. As soon as I stop writing, it starts erasing. So I have some time control. But another huge advantage to this is before if I had the magic pen and I did this, I would get the spotlight on my screen. Or if I did this, I would get the magnifying glass. But now I don't have that anymore. So it gives you a little bit more flexibility than you had before. The next thing here, you have custom creative pens. We're going to come up here to our pens and we're going to do our creative pen. So just like before, we had our smiley face and our stars. But now what I can do is let's say I have an object on the screen. So I'm going to come here to my gallery. I'm going to type in baseball. And I'm going to grab a picture of this baseball right here. What I can do is now when I have my pet, my creative pen selected, come over here to properties, and I can come over here under line style, use custom stamp image. It's going to say, do I want to browse for the image or select an object on my screen? So I can pick an image that's on my computer, say that of a face of a student, and for their birthday, you're going to write with their face for the day. Or if I select object, You'll notice my cursor is now turned to the eyedropper with the dotted line. I'm going to come to the baseball. So now I'm writing with the ball. So that's something new you can do. And just like before, where if you wanted to save it, let's say you always want that baseball. If I click Save Tool Property, now up here in my toolbar, I now have a baseball pen. So I'm going to go here, I click back, and now I have a baseball pen. Another thing that we have that's new is we can now fill irregular shapes. Before you can only fill regular like circles, squares, stuff of that nature. But now if I come up here with a pen and I draw any type of shape, as long as it gets connected, I can now take my fill tool, pick a color, and fill my shape. Now the thing is when you fill that shape, I'm going to come up here to my select tool you're actually now making the inside of that shape an object. So my line is still an object, and this is an object. So I could group them together, so they're together, or like I said, now they're separate. So let's say on a particular file, you need a picture of just a, a, a link of some sort. When I come in here, it doesn't matter what color pen I pick, and we're just gonna draw my big lake. I'm gonna pick my fill tool, and I need it to be blue. And now I have a lake that I can resize and do what I want with. Another new feature that you can do if you're hooked up to a smart board, unfortunately at this moment I'm not hooked up to a smart board, is the shake gesture to group. So in the past, if you wanted to group these two objects together, I would have to marquee select over both of them, use the drop down arrow, go to group and group. Now these are grouped together and drop down grouping ungroup if i had a smart board hooked up i marquee select over both and if i shook the two objects for a second they would group together shake them again they ungroup so nice new feature in smart notebook 11. so that concludes part two we'll pick up part three here next